Let's take a look at how to set the color sequence for your machine. In the OS, go over to the right hand side and click on color sequence. And let's take a look at how this is laid out. So over on the left, let me move this out of the way so you can see both the design and the color sequence here. Uh, over on the left is a color sla uh, hyphen needle box. So this on the left hand side is showing you the color change and on the right is showing you the needle assigned to it. Now when you first get your machine you may see something very similar to what I have right here. Um, other times you will just see the last color sequence from the previous design that was loaded. I'm going to start by clicking clear all. I don't, I typically don't want to uh, use or modify the previous color sequence. I just want to start from scratch. So I click clear all. On the bottom, you have your design colors, and this is going to show up in the order in which they sew. If I hover over one, you may see the, the thread color assigned to it. Um, this is going to be the case with uh, OFMs or designs that contain color information. Not all designs do. So if you load something like an EXP or a DST, it may show up in kind of weird red, green, blue, purple, all kinds of weird colors. Um, that's because those files contain color changes, but they don't contain color information. So we don't know what to display. We just know that it's a different color from the piece before it. So we assign it this kind of default weird rainbowy kind of color sequence. If you want to see the order in which they sew out and it isn't displayed like this, you can always go to step forward. And when I step forward the first time, it's going to gray out and this will stay say zero. If I step forward again, it will say color one and it will begin to color in. So you can see that the pairs just colored in and they are a light green. If I step forward again, it will show the leaves. Step forward again, it will show the bird and step forward again and it will show the outline for everything. So you can step forward or step back through the color sequence and show and hide colors in the order in which they would sew. Now step forward and step back are really great for previewing a design. They will show you, you know, how it's going to sew, but it really doesn't have any impact on when you are setting the color sequence. Um, what number step forward and step back on has no, no impact on what color change you are assigning to what needle. It is just a preview option. To set the color sequence, uh, I'm going to look down here at my design colors. I'm going to look at my thread tree. Now you'll notice that my thread tree is laid out very similarly to the thread tree on my machine. So oftentimes I'm going to look at my screen, look back at my thread tree and figure out where I want things to be. So here I may choose to sew the pears in burgundy, the leaves in green, my bird in yellow, and then I'm going to outline everything in black. So I can look at the screen and see where these are. I'm going to look back at the thread tree and see. Um, but if I need that number, it's right here beside there, uh, beside that cone. So typically I would look here and I would say, okay, I want uh, those pairs to be, in my case, I'll do them as a burgundy, which is on needle four for me. And I click on needle four and now it is showing that the first color will sew on needle four. And then I want the leaves to be green. So I'm going to click on 16 because that is my green. And then the bird to be yellow, which for me is needle three. And then let's outline everything in black. So I've got needle four and then 16, three, and then five. And if I hit apply and okay, I am now ready, I am set. Um, I can go ahead and sew out. Other things that you might need while setting your color sequence, what if I make a mistake? How do I change something? How do I insert? Um, what if I need to make the machine wait for me? Uh, I can set all those commands in that color sequence window as well. So let's go back into that color sequence window and take a look at a few more options. If I need to set up a, a hold command or an applique command in my design, I can do that. Um, I can select where I want it to be and click on the button. I can add it as I'm doing the color sequence or I can do it after. Um, they work just like these buttons do. When I click them, they insert into here. And the difference between a hold 
and an applique command. So a hold uh, makes the machine wait for me and then uh, when it hits that command it'll just stop and wait until I come over and press the green button when I'm sewing out. Um, the only difference between that and an applique command is the applique command will feed the frame out so that I actually have room to perhaps lay down material, which is what applique typically is. If I wanted to erase one, I could select it and click on erase. That would make it go away. If I wanted to change a color, let's say in this example that I wanted to sew the pairs in a different color, that's the second color, I could double click and it would begin to flash. And then I could look at my thread tree and choose a different color to use. So I'm going to use needle nine this time. Hit apply and OK and my color sequence has now changed.